new Disney fashion dolls have dropped. Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about it on a Focus on the Cute! Disney has released a fashion doll series. Ooh. And they are released <laughs> by Disney Illy Forever. And if you think that looks familiar, it is because you should have seen it on our channel. They have made Disney Illy Forever has made 18 inch dolls, play sets, and fashion packs. But this time, Shop Disney has released these dolls that are basically fashion doll size. 12 inches or a little bit above and they are small and they have fashion packs and accessories for those type of dolls. They were released today on Shop Disney US and Shop Disney Japan. Interesting that they did that. They've never done releases at the same time except for new emos. Really excited about this because these Woo! are actually <laughs> very similar to the 18 inch dolls that we reviewed on our channel. We'll put it in the i card above. I like the doll photography, how they did it in front of the castle. It looks like, you know, they did it, of course. And these dolls are retail price at $29.99. They are actually surprisingly not made by Jack Specific, but made by Disney. So I find that interesting. They are going to be released at the Target Disney store. Don't know if they're going to be on Target.com, so we shall see. First up, we're going to look at the doll that's inspired by Ariel. Oh, and by the way, they have made, so far, six dolls. So it's ap themed after diff six different characters. So we shall see if they're going to make more if they do well. I think they're adorable already. But anyways, I digress. <laughs> the box art on the side has the character in a heart also. And then the rest of them all together by the castle. I love the theme of this packaging. I love how it's like so many different Disney things. Like you got a Mickey waffle. You got a Mickey balloon. You got a Mickey cupcake. Cheers. You got a Dole Whip. Got I think that's so cheers. adorable. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Here's her outfit. I think our favorite part, of course, is the ears because we don't really get, you know, we don't get Minnie Mouse ears for dolls. You know, Barbie doesn't make those. <laughs> and Mickey Mouse ears are very hard to come by. Not to mention, these are styled to her character. Yeah, and I think they're really adorable. I love how they have inset eyes like Cute. the 18-inch dolls. I also like that they have the ears and outfit themed to the character and the accessories as well and each doll comes with a different colored mickey balloon so cute and inside the mickey balloon is a mystery item you get a mystery disney food Ooh. another mystery bag <laughs> it's kind of annoying because i you know you might you always have one in mind that you want and then if you're only buying one doll that's awful so there's 10 choices also <laughs> yeah and there's only and there's six different dolls so that's harsh Next up is Ariel inspired skating outfit. The retail price on these accessory packs are $16.99. So in this pack she comes with this comes with a little skating helmet, some skates, a top, a pair of shorts, long socks, or could those be leg warmers? And a sports bra, a Fitbit, a bracelet, a fanny pack, and some stickers. I think, I think this outfit <laughs> isn't really, it's it's not really that great of quality, especially for six, uh, $16.99, yeah, it's, it's, it's not good. Not one of our faves, but the, the helmet and the skates are cute. <laughs> Next we have a fashion pack inspired by Aurora, and this is again not one of our favorites at all. There's plenty of clothes down the line that we love, but just not the beginning ones. <laughs> this, I think the jacket, the headband, and the boots are nice. I just don't understand if it's Aurora inspired why I would have Maleficent, because that was kind of like... The villain of her story, I think if it was, you know, a villain themed pack, then it would make sense, but it's not, so I don't understand that at all. You usually don't wear your nemesis on your chest, so I, I, <laughs> I, I, would, I like the boots and the jacket is very cute with the headband, but other than that, yeah, I just don't have a lot to say about that one. Yeah, maybe a sale. Next up, we have the Belle doll. She's inspired by Belle, and she's adorable. I love the outfit that she comes in. It's a nice yellow ruffle dress. I wish it was a little bit longer. She has a Belle headband, of course, mini ears, and she has this adorable jean jacket with a rose purse. I think that's so cute. She even has rose earrings. And I love also her hair, how she has big natural curls. Oh, it's beautiful. Also, I love her shoes. They have roses on there, and she has the little foam with a pop socket. That's so cute. I know, that's adorable. I think she's the only one that comes with the phone. I thought that was interesting. 
And here's the close-up of her face, and I really do like that she also has a necklace. I believe that's Mrs. Potts, or at least a, or at least a teacup. I'm not sure if it's Mrs. Potts or a chip. And I love her ears, how sparkly gold they are, and they did make the middle rose red. And her accessories are so cute. I love that jean jacket. I like how the roses aren't printed. It's embroidered, I believe. It, it appears that way. Next up is an accessory pack, Bell Inspired. I love this little picnic basket, so cute. And the little boots, the jeans, they look like real jeans, unlike Barbie. <laughs> um, and then uh, a beautiful, it looks like a, a silky type of blouse, a necklace, two earrings. The dolls do have pierced ears, which I found really amazing. The basket opens and you can put the food in there. I think that's cool. These boots are so cute. I want a pair. <laughs> this is just an adorable outfit for $16.99, yes. Yeah, I definitely think this is one of our favorite outfits. Next, we got a Bell inspired accessory pack. This is adorable. It kind of gives you a cozy staying at home with a book and a cup of tea kind of feeling. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love that it has a pillow for your back, like a back pillow, and then a smaller pink pillow. You got all sorts of accessories. You got a little teacup with a spoon, a little lap desk. Ugh, it's just so adorable. I think this is cute. Little glasses. Ugh. I think it's adorable. I, I think this is perfect for your little uh, doll photography. You can set up a very cute scene using these items. Yeah, and look how cozy she looks. It's so cute. And I think that it's really cool that these dolls, they're like, you know, themed after different princesses. So you could use them for the princess or for a doll that's a fan of the princess. So that's a yes for us. Next up is Cinderella inspired. Ooh. I think she has such a cute face. I love the the outfit, not so much, but I do yeah. love the sweatshirt. I love her ears her camera and check out those little shoes her purse unfortunately it doesn't appear that it opens and that's up uh, and that's too bad I really do like the sweatpants design I just don't like the pants in general I like the sweatshirt and the ears of course and I really do like her face it looks like they all all the dolls have different face molds except mm -hmm. for two of them share the same face mold it, it is Belle and the Jasmine doll which we will show in a little in a while I also do love her nose. It's not pointy, it's round, it's cute. And here is her accessory. She has a little camera, a purse, and of course her sweatshirt, and then the balloon. I like how the balloons are different colors, so if you did get multiple dolls, they'd be different. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have the Cinderella Fashion Pack, and this is so cute. Again, one of our favorites. I, we told you as we go down, there'd be more favorites. <laughs> this is so cute. I love the little mm, mouse purse. Yes. I love the... I'm not sure what texture that sweater is, but it looks kind of fuzzy and it looks cute. I love the sparkly skirt. I love that she has a little watch and she's got earrings, a headband, and shoes. Look at the little detail of the carriage there. That is so adorable and it does look like to be a fuzzy sweater. It's so cute. I think that's so I love adorable. the details in this. It looks so very delicate and princessy and I just love how it also goes with Cinderella's color scheme very well. Next up is the Cinderella accessory pack. This is a great school set or office set for your fashion doll. I think this is so cute. I love the clock. It's set to 11.59. She has two bookends that are her slippers. So I think, cute. I think mean, it's so cute. Also, it's a scented little pumpkin. It has pumpkin aroma. I know. That's interesting. Isn't it? A little lamp. Some. These plants are in mouse-shaped glassware i think that's adorable <laughs> i think that's so cute i love the attention to detail i think and then the little notebook we're not sure if that's paper or not so it better not be for the price <laughs> next up is the elsa fashion pack and this is adorable i love the olaf mm -hmm. robe so cute i don't understand the pajamas i mean i understand the cold never bothered elsa but like would you <laughs> really wear those in the winter like what the heck I love the Olaf cup. I think the yes, pajamas should have maybe been themed or something else. If they didn't want to make them Olaf themed, they could have done something else, like maybe another color, something else. I just want to show it on the doll because this is how short the shorts are. And then you get a tied, like a knotted shirt. I don't understand the design of the pajamas at all. I do love the robe though. Robe is really cute. And the little mask. 
and the I know. cup adorbs. adorable like the rest of the items are fine it's just the pajamas the the shirt and the mm. shorts next up is the jasmine inspire fashion doll she is wearing a jasmine t-shirt she has an over shirt that has raja on it i think that's kind of cute also she has jean shorts which they look like they're made out of jean type material i wish they went ahead and made longer pants i i thought that would have been cool she has an autograph book that does open which is cool her ears that are jasmine themed and her little purse that doesn't open i, I think, love her eyes though i think personally she is kind of the weakest in you know print than the princess she's designed after personally and she's just my least favorite i think they could have done better for her i'm sorry i do also like that all the dolls have pierced ears so that they can use the earrings for the fashion packs for all the dolls i think that's cool i do think that's cool too in some of the fashion packs they do have earrings so it's which are really neat. Next up, we got the fashion pack inspired by Princess Jasmine. And I really, I am so sorry. I just don't like this. <laughs> I just, I don't understand why mm. they couldn't give Princess Jasmine something nice. I mean, she has a lot of nice colors in the movie. Definitely. And yeah. this is just like, what is this? Like, it seems like they were going after another, like, tiger theme. But it just looks like she's a fish or something. <laughs> like, the shirt is yellow and it's weird. And it looks kind of funky. I, I don't care for it, but I mean, you know, the glasses are cute. Next up is a fashion pack inspired by Moana. She's going to clean up the beach side there. She's In a hideous her, outfit. I'm yeah, so sorry. <laughs> she's got her little bucket, a hoodie, and a pair of yoga pants. It could have at least resembled her, like maybe flowery or something, like the island she lives on. It I just looks kind of weird. I do like the bucket and the glasses, though. I wonder yeah. how the little cap fits. I would love to see that. I, but I, I do think, yeah, I think the accessories are cute. Just the outfit's weird. But I guess maybe, you know, if you wanted just a hoodie, you know, that's for you mm. then. <laughs> Next is the Mulan inspired fashion pack. And this is another one that well, I was like, whoa, there's a lot going on here. But <laughs> I think it's kind of cool in a way. Mm. But some pieces are kind of... I'm not mm. sure if they kind of flow together. You got some grid socks. You got a Mushu jacket. Then you got this interesting circuit board pink dress. And then you got a red beanie. And then really loud shoes. And you got a little bow of tea, which is adorable, and a magazine. I do love this jacket. I think the shoes are cool. The red beanie is adorable also. I, I really do like that. Unfortunately, I wish the purse opened. I don't understand why small little purses can't open. Next up is a Mulan inspired accessory pack. It's some exercise gear from Mulan to work out. Woo! And then she comes with a exercise mat, which I think is interesting. A jump rope, her little weights, that's adorbs. Also a little water bottle. I love the little bag. That actually opens and you can put things in, which I always think is cool. Definitely. So, <laughs> working fabric bags. I love exactly. that. Exactly. I mean, this is so adorable. Then it comes with her workout there. I really like the martial arts poster. Mm. And I love that water bottle. It's cute. And I love the little weights can come out. <laughs> it's so cute. Here's the dog using it. She's like, go. Go. Uh, we're not sure what the round thing is, though. No, we don't really know what that is. I don't, uh, I don't know. It's interesting, though, that it comes with a variety of items, though. That's cool. Next is the Pocahontas inspired fashion pack. This is really cute. I do like the plaid shirt and I love the Camp Miko shirt. And it has boots, shorts, binoculars, a, cap, a baseball cap, a book, and a compass. Now, personally, I think it would have been better, again, to have pants. What the heck is the deal with the shorts? I don't know why they keep on making shorts. It also seems like it's not worth the price when you're getting just you know tiny doll shorts yeah because it's almost like underwear and it, realistically if you're out in the woods you're probably going to wear a pair of pants well yeah unless you want scratches on your legs <laughs> <laughs> but i do think this is cool i like the natural colors and i like that it has the plaid shirt and it's not sewn to you know the other shirt next up is the rapunzel fashion pack this is really cute i love this shirt and her little journal Unfortunately, the backpack doesn't look like it opens. Why? <laughs> but it's her, cute. 
And she has shoes. Thank you. Well, she never comes with two <laughs> shoes, so she's got to have shoes sometime. <laughs> uh, her son necklace. Uh, the shorts again. Wish they would have been jeans. I think my favorite part is definitely the top and the accessories. Yeah. I love her notes. notebook. That's so cute. It is adorable. And I just, I think that, I love her colors on this also. And I think they did really good theming the outfits to the princesses. Not all of them, but most of them. And look how cute she looks. And those shorts are very, are very a little short. Next we got the Rapunzel inspired accessory pack. This is kind of, gives me craft like a craft feel to it. I like the locker. I like that it comes with little paint brushes, little paint. Unfortunately, the locker is sh shorter than the doll, mm, which is yeah, weird. Yeah, it's too bad. It doesn't make any sense to have a doll like big item and then it being like, whoop, like very tiny, like, and it's like, okay, it doesn't look right in scale. And I really like the easel. I like the little I just like everything about this stuff, except for the locker. I think the locker was a cute concept, but I just wish it was the same size as a doll. That would have really been real cute if it had been the same size. I do like the colors and everything else of the set, though. And also her little box opens. Oh my gosh, yes. Here's the little the picture of the box and the easel. It's so cute. I like how they put the easel on something because, again, it's not to height. <laughs> Here's the Snow White-inspired doll. She comes with a pair of sunglasses or and also a cardigan with apples on it, overalls, and her red shirt, her little Snow White Mickey ears, and red bows on her shoes. That is so cute. I know. I think this doll is really adorable. I like how detailed she is, and I like her face. I love her curls, and I love just the outfit in general that they picked for Snow White. I'm glad they didn't do anything weird. Mm -hmm. I think it's very cute. Oh, freckles. She looks. She. I love her little adorable freckles. Those are cute. Yes, her freckles are so cute, and I just. I love her. I love the doll as a whole. Honestly, I think she's very cute. Oh, here's a close-up of her cardigan and her accessories. Red balloon, cute. I love. I wonder this. what's in that mystery pack. I love this cardigan. It's so cute. Next, we have the Snow White inspired fashion pack. I really think this is cute. Also, it has a blue shirt, a yellow skirt, some shoes, a gift bag, a purse, a pair of sunglasses. You got a hair clip, a bracelet, and a little invitation. Looks like she's going to a garden party with a gnome. <laughs> and I think it's a really cute outfit. I like that it has critters incorporated with the outfit instead of just like a ton of apples. <laughs> Poor Snow mm -hmm. White. She loved her critters. And her critters helped her a lot too. To oh, do yeah. housework. I, wish I, that I know. That would be awesome <laughs> to have in real life. But I think this outfit is really cute. And I like what they did with it. And I like that they used some of our color scheme but also threw in a lot of some really cute critter items. Here's a Snow White inspired accessory pack. And speaking of critters, here's a little critter that was never in the movie is a dog. So uh, this dog's pretty cute. I don't exactly understand why the paws up because it's probably going to make this difficult for this dog to stand. I'm <laughs> almost certain. Probably true. <laughs> but it looks like it's standing right there. So who knows? Anyways, <laughs> there's a leash. I love the leash. It is so cute. It's, it looks like it's rope. I love the food bowl. It looks very Snow White-ish. And look at the bow on the dog leash. I really think this is so cute. And I love that it comes with a bunch of items for the little dog walker. It is adorable. And I love that visor on the doll. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. Next, we got the doll inspired by Tiana. And I really do like this doll. I love her outfit. I think she's a very pretty doll. She has long black hair and she looks to have like a beautiful fur jacket and I really love her Tiana ears and she has a shirt that says New Orleans and she has this skirt that's sort of like a, I guess a jumper skirt type of thing and then she has a water bottle and she's got sneakers and a backpack. I think this doll is so pretty. I really like this doll a lot. Yeah, I think she has an adorable face, and I really do like how she looks in the colors. And I'm also glad that they didn't, like, do a bunch of green, because they do use green a little too much for Tiana. And there's mm -hmm. other colors in her movie, so <laughs> I think that it was great to see something else besides just green. And green's a beautiful color, but I'm glad to see that. I and think the jacket is really cute. It's adorable. 
I know it's it's one of the it's the cutest piece I think and then her, her balloon is green that's cool next up is Tiana's fashion pack here she has little shoes I oh, that look at that camera it's so cute looks like it has a little canvas strap and then she has her hat that's plastic a small pair of shorts and a small shirt she does have a pair of earrings sunglasses and a little hair tie and a pair of shoes this is really cute again I mean I think this is more fitting because this is for the beach so the shorts are more fitting for this now it adventures away tra travel book Tiana's traveling cool or T the the doll that's inspired by Tiana is traveling. <laughs> Whoever wants Tiana is at work. <laughs> Whoever wants to dress like Tiana is traveling. Next, we got the Tiana inspired accessory pack, and I think this is way cuter than the oh, fashion pack. I yeah. like the accessories better. Mm. I like that it has a little. I'm not sure what that is. A, a, a mat or a, maybe a towel to relax on, mm. and it has a little cooking book. Oh my gosh, a little beignet, quick little quick snack there. A Cute. little fan. I love her little cup I love her bag that it opens that's so cute and I love the mm -hmm. colors of that bag and look at the close-up of her makeup bag <laughs> and her little tiny whiny accessories sport frog oh it's so cute I think this is adorable. SPF 50 wow I uh, think this is adorable and the attention to detail it's so cute everything kind of has some some of her items have frogs and then it's kind of like themed to her, her collection there so our final closing thoughts for the Disney Illy Forever fashion dolls. I really like them. My mom and I are both excited for these dolls. From what we've seen, we really like how the clothes and accessories look. They look like de pretty decent quality for the price. I really also like how the dolls look different from your typical Barbie. I like also that they are nicely articulated for a Disney doll. And we're just super excited to see these in person and maybe get a few. Ooh. And I love the fact that Disney is putting out different ethnicities because everybody could be a princess. Definitely. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to comment down below. We'd love to start a conversation with you. Let us know which favorite doll, fashion, or accessory pack was your favorite. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your dolly friends. And if you're a stranger passing by, don't be. We'd love to have you on a Focus on the Cute. Thank you everybody for watching. And don't forget to join us next time as, as we focus on the cute. Bye. Bye-bye everybody.